In this video, I'm going to show you how to go live on Facebook using Facebook's new Facebook Live producer on desktop. The simple, no frills, easy, fast way. So if you're brand new and totally confused with technology, you'll be able to do it at the end of this video. Hey, what's up everybody? Trevor here, Hollywood editor turned full-time realtor and YouTuber. On this channel, I teach realtors and other entrepreneurs to grow their businesses using video. And now more than ever, that is super important if you want to stay relevant, especially during all of this COVID stuff. To make sure you stay up to date on all things video, please make sure you hit that subscribe button right down there and whack the bell so you get notified the next time I upload a video. Also, please smash that thumbs up button for my self-esteem because like every time I get a like, I, a tear is shed and my dopamine is released and I'm just a little bit, a little bit happier. I have a ton of free content on this channel, but if you want to level up even faster, please check out my free webinar at videosecretswebinar.com. That will take you to the next level with your video content creation. You can go live on Facebook on either mobile or desktop, Mac or PC, Android or iPhone, doesn't matter. In fact, I created a video a few days ago about going live on mobile and I give you some tips that will apply whether you're going live on mobile or desktop. You should totally check out that video if you haven't checked it out yet. You may or may not need these additional features that Facebook Live producer offers. In fact, I'm just gonna cover the very basics. You can just hit a few buttons and go live on your desktop starting right now. Let's dive into it. The first thing we do is go to facebook.com. To go live on Facebook using your desktop, using your computer, you can do a live stream from your profile, from a Facebook page, or from a group. For us, we're gonna go live from a Facebook page. So I'm going to go here on the top right and choose a page that I don't use very often, which is Trevor Jones voiceover. It's kind of a page I've abandoned. I'm not really pursuing that whole voiceover thing anymore. So to go live, all you do is you hit right here on the top, create, hit live. Facebook Live producer looks like this. It looks a little bit intimidating and it is a bit more complicated than the prior version. It lets you do a lot more stuff, but we're not gonna talk about the a lot more stuff. I'm simply gonna show you how to simply and easily go live. We're gonna do a go live now. We're not gonna schedule it, not do anything fancy at all. So at the top you see we have options to go live now, schedule or upcoming live videos. We're just gonna leave it at go live now. That is the default. You have these options for get started using a stream key camera or a paired encoder. We're just gonna use a camera, it's much easier. Now the camera is only going to work if you are using a current browser and I know that it likes Chrome and I know that it likes the current version of Chrome so that's what I would suggest that you use. And over here on the left, we can see that I can post it to a page I manage, which is Trevor Jones voiceover. I can also post on my timeline, which is my profile or a group. I'm just going to go on this page that I don't use anymore. I can give it a title. And as I mentioned in the video where I talked about going live on mobile, it's kind of cool to use a, an emoji here. So this is the good emoji. You don't have to use red dot, but that's like, Hey, we're live. We're live now. Don't watch me. This is just for the video I'm creating. After the title, I can add a description. This is only a test. This is only a test. But you actually wanna write something really engaging here to get people to click. I can click this here and choose my location. I'm in Azalea, kind of Glendale, Oregon. I can click this to add a feeling, just like any other post. I am happy and I can raise money, but I'm not going to do that right now. Here in the settings section, I'm not gonna even show you that stuff because I don't want you to get confused. Over here in the bottom right, I can see my face. I can look up at the screen and I can see how things kind of look, see if it's framed right, adjust this. It's kind of hard to see in the bottom right there, but if I hit this little box right here, it will make it big so I can see that, wow, this lighting is terrible because I've got there. I need that, right? But I don't really care too much. In real life, I would turn around, but I'm on my laptop outside, so this is what you're gonna get, guys. And I hit this arrow here so I can see that everything is still set correctly. I'm at use camera, use camera. This is the easy way, in case you're wondering, this is a link so people can find all your live videos in the future, but don't even worry about that. All you gotta do from the beginning, make sure you're on go live now. 
hit camera using a current browser, add a title description, you don't have to mess with this stuff, check your face, make sure you're good, and then you hit go live. Countdown, we're going live and Hey, if this is your first time watching one of my videos, do me a favor, hit that like button and hit that subscribe button down there so you catch the next video I create. I'd be, I'd be super grateful. And if you've seen my videos before, comment below about how many of my videos on YouTube you've seen. Just, just a guess. Give it a second. It likes good Wi-Fi. Again, if you don't have a good internet connection, don't bother doing this because it needs lots of bandwidth. So give it a minute and boom, now we are live. Now, if I want to see what's going on, I can scroll up like this and I can see my face there with a little bit of delay. I can see how much bandwidth I'm using, how much bandwidth the video is using, how much bandwidth the audio is using. And I can see over here any comments that people make so I can reply to them super easily. This is a great way to engage with your people. You're, you're live, you're, you're, you're hands free, you're just using your webcam and you're able to reply to comments and call people out. And when you're done, that, that's all there is to it, guys. Make sure you prepare like we talked about in that video about mobile. Make sure your lighting is better than it is here. Make sure your sound is good. I'm sure you're getting a little bit of wind because I'm outside just to make it kind of more fun. And when you're done, just hit end live stream like this. If I end, I'll be able to choose if I want to save or delete it. And in this case, yeah, we're just going to save it so we can show. And you can rate the broadcast. I have no idea how it was. And boom, if I want to see the post, I hit view post. Make sure everything was peachy keen. And there's, there's my post. There's my video. It was this long. And this is it. My video is done. Everything appears to have worked great. Now to get rid of this video, you need to go back to your page by clicking this arrow up here and go to Trevor Jones voiceover. I'm getting rid of this video because it was just a test. You should keep your videos and I keep my real videos. I keep them up all the time. I'm gonna scroll down till I can find that video. There it is. This is only a test. And I'm going to click this here and choose delete from page. And now, yes, I'm sure I'm gonna hit delete. And I just wanted that one to go away. And here is the rest of my voiceover page that I haven't posted to in 147 years. Did you guys know I did video for Cars 3? You should go to my voiceover page and watch that and like it for no reason whatsoever. Don't miss Disney Pixar's Cars 3 in 3D June 16th. That is all there is to creating a Facebook Live using Facebook Live Producer. For more awesome Facebook tips and tutorials, hit that link right there. That's a full playlist of Facebook videos please hit that subscribe button right down there to make sure you don't miss out on future content. And if you haven't hit the like button yet, bro, it's, it's that one. What, what, what are you waiting for? I cannot wait to see your awesome Facebook Lives.